This is the clock face, it's on the north side of the tower. It's on the north side of the tower because in the old days that's where the market was. And so where the market are, the people are. And you need to be able to see the clock because you haven't got a watch and you haven't got an iPhone. Okay? This is the best part of the alley. This is what's called the fan vaulted ceiling. It was built 1499 to 1503 by the Virtue Brothers who were the master masons to King Henry VII. And when they finished it in 1503, they looked at it and they said, there is no finer ceiling in all of England and France. You build a ceiling like this by creating a scaffold and you lay the bricks on the scaffold mm. and then you put the final stone in the middle, which is the keystone. And if you look behind you, you'll see the one in the middle, you'll see the oh, keystone. Yeah. That is the only thing that's holding up the ceiling. There is no cement, there is no mortar, there's nothing gluing the stones together, just that stone and physics. And listen to all things bell, because that is where we are right now. We're in our bell ringing room. You can see now quite how big these bells are. For example, the two ones that are up here, they're our smallest bells and they're still absolutely massive. And all of these bells have their own stories, their own history. Some of them even have their own names. This big one behind me is our uh, famous tenor bell. And most tenor bells have uh, names or titles. For example, in London, you have Big Ben. In Bath here, we have Great Ethel. Suspense. Can you see anything? Oh, there's a hand.